Hi guys, Shireen here uh, with another boxing hit style session. Uh, this is the second instalment. Um, if you haven't already done the first one, I uh, recommend that you do that first as I cover the basics um, in terms of boxing stance and punching techniques. Um, so I'm going to get straight into moves um, in this session. Uh, so check that one first um, if you haven't already. Um, today um, it's going to be a little bit longer, a um, bit more intense. Um, so hopefully give you guys a great workout. Okay, enjoy. So for warm up, we've got five exercises. We're doing 30 seconds of each and we're going twice round, okay? So starting with star jumps for 30 seconds and then straight into squats. Ready, go. Last three, two, one, and now straight into squats, go. When you're squatting down, make sure you're keeping your back straight and really push your bum backwards um, towards whatever's behind you. Um, try not to lean over and um, keep your knees behind your toes. Okay, last three two, one, and straight into jump rope. Let's go. It's an invisible rope, so you can be as fancy as you like with your footwork. Uh, try different things, hop on one leg, and um, do whatever you want. Get those knees high as well for an extra bit of work. Okay, drop that rope straight into fast feet. Okay, so toe to toe, you're going as fast as you can. So don't worry about lifting your legs too high, just getting your toes up and off the floor and back down. Okay, last three two, one and straight down into mountain climbers, off you go and keep your hands flat on the floor and driving your knees up to your chest. Um, it's up to you how fast you pace this, um, go at your own speed um, but remember to push yourself as well um, so getting those knees driving up to the chest as quickly as you can. Okay last three, two, one and straight back up into star jumps okay so second time round should be getting nice and warm now and um, speed it up a little bit this time Okay, that's three, two, one, and back into the squats. Okay, push your legs a little bit wider this time. Challenge yourself to get a bit lower um, and really focus on driving your hips through. Um, I like to use my hands in front and then drive them either side of my body to give that extra push through the middle. Three. Two, one, and back into that jump rope. Let's go. Okay, speed it up this time. See if you can practice um, some different footwork to what you did last time. Bounce a bit higher. Try some different moves. You can try the MC Hammer. Goes like this. Can't touch this. Okay, get ready to drop that rope and we're going straight into fast feet. Now, let's go. Speed it up this time, really push yourself.
Okay, big push. Three, two, one. And dropping down straight into mountain climbers. Let's go. Last little bit of the warm up. Really drag those knees up. Heart should be beating nice and fast now. Push yourself. Okay, last push, three, two, one, and relax. That's the warm up done. So now we're nice and warm, we're gonna move into our boxing combo rounds. These rounds consist of one minute of boxing work followed by 30 seconds of defense. We're gonna repeat that twice for each move with a total of three rounds. Round one boxing is the jab, jab, cross. Um, so if you notice, we're taking two steps forward with the jab, crossing and then stepping back so jab jab cross and moving backwards really focus on rotating your hip at the back when you bring that cross so we're going to do that for one minute and then we're going into our defense cover slip slip so front cover slip to the left slip to the right or whichever way you want to go first you can mix it up so you're covering hands in front as if someone's trying to punch you in the face and then slip in both directions. Okay, so one minute punching, 30 seconds defense, and we're going twice through. Ready? Let's go. After your jab jab, really rotate your shoulder forward from the back um, for that backhand. So twisting your shoulders right around um, to extend your reach. Three, two, one, and straight into the defense. So cover, slip, slip. Okay, when you're slipping, make sure you're dipping your knees um, to get out of the way. So you're twisting your torso and dipping the knees slightly as you slip each way. So cover, hands up high in front, and then slip in side to side. Now back to the jab jab cross, so let's go. Really put the effort in this time, this is the last time we're doing this combo, to really focus on punching forward with the step and driving through with that backhand, rotating your shoulder around um, to give you that extra power. Notice the way I rotate my hip on that backhand, twisting it forward um, on my toe, so you should be on your toes, allowing your hips to rotate with the shot. Now back to your defence, so we're going cover, slip, slip, let's go, last 30 seconds of these, get your hands up high and then slip in side to side. And relax shake your arms off next one we've got the back uppercut front hook backhand front hook okay so that's uppercut hook backhand hook okay from this side uppercut hook backhand hook so really focus on the technique so bending your knees rotating the body for each shot this is how it looks at speed 
So try and focus on that technique even though you're going quicker. Defense this round is a duck and then a roll and a roll. Okay, so we're going to duck down with the knees, roll one way and then the other. Okay, really focus on your knees. It's all a lower body movement. If you notice, my upper body hardly moves. It's all in the legs. Okay, ready? Let's go. Again, with this shot, making sure you're on your toes so you can really rotate on that front foot as you're throwing the hook across the top and really twist and kick that hip in and that will really give you the power into the shot. Once you're confident with a move, you can try and throw the combo a bit quicker. So try and speed it up. Now into the defense, let's go. So duck, roll, roll. So really bend those knees in the duck, keep your head facing forward, don't look down at the floor. So you're ducking, but staying facing forward. Um, and then roll in from the knees, side to side. And back to the combo, let's go. So, up, cut, hook, cross, hook. Okay, now back on our defense, ready? Duck, roll, roll. If you've got a washing line at home, these are really good to do either side because um, you're making sure that you're avoiding something. Um, so going up and under um, either side of a washing line if you've got one. Okay, and relax. Uh, third and final round. This time we're going to add a bit of foot movement between our punches. So jab, cross, pivot, hook, uppercut. Okay, so that's jab, cross, pivot, front hook, back, uppercut. Okay, so you can move around with this one. As you're pivoting, you get your foot planted first and then throw the hook and uppercut. For your defence this round, we're going to use a mixture of hand and foot defences. So we're going to go front parry, duck, side step, side step. So parry with the front hand, duck down and up, side step, side step. Okay, we're ready for round three. Let's go. Make sure you're keeping your hands by your chin so when you're rotating, they're there, ready to throw the hook and the uppercut to follow. You can try and rotate in the opposite direction, although it will feel more natural in one way, um, but try and challenge yourself and go in both ways. Um, and you can mix it up in between, so go one way and then the other as you feel comfortable. A 
Okay, and back to our defence. Ready? Let's go. Parry, duck, side, side. And again, side, side. Notice how when I'm stepping side to side, my body is directly above my legs. Okay, so you're keeping that centre of gravity the same the whole way through the movement, keeping your balance in the middle of your legs. Get ready now, we're going straight back into the combo. Ready, go. Remember to try that rotation in both directions, so go left and go right. Test yourself. Okay, and back to our defence. Ready? Let's go. This time try and vary your angle so you're not always facing the same way. So you can twist round before you do the movement again. Okay, and relax, hold it there. Next up, we have our plyo cardio circuit. This is my worst bit of the workout, just to warn you. We've got three different movements we're gonna do for 20 seconds each with 10 seconds in between, and we're gonna do that four times round. So I'm just gonna demonstrate each of the three techniques. The first move is a crisscross tuck jump. Okay, so with one foot in front of the other first, and then swap sides up to the tuck jump. Second move, is a ski jump to a single leg hop. So we're gonna go one way to the other. Really focus on your balance on this one. Take your time if you need. Third move is a sim top jump. Seems simple, but the hard work. Okay, so that's our three moves. We're gonna go for 20 seconds on each one, 10 seconds rest. Let's go. And relax, you've got 10 seconds, really get your breath back, focus on taking deep breaths in, in between each set. Okay, ready? Let's go, ski hops, single leg, focus on that balance and drive your knee upwards using your arms to help you elevate into the hop. And relax. Shake those legs off, you've got a few seconds and then we're going straight into those pike bounce jumps. Okay, ready? Let's go, hands out in front. I'm turning sideways here just to show you the kind of movement that you're trying to make. Um, obviously the higher you get your legs the better, but I know they're hard so just do what you can. Okay, and relax. They're tough, them ones. Um, that's one round down, and we've got three to go. Okay, ready? Back to the crisscross top jumps. Let's go. Okay, and relax, got 10 seconds before the next ones. Deep breaths, get ready, ski jumps, let's go.
and relax. Deep breaths again, really important in these short rest periods that you've got. Go. These are my least favourite move in the whole workout, just so you know. And relax. That's two down, two to go. I'm really puffing now, don't know about you. Ready for round three? Let's go. And relax, sucking that air, get in as much as you can. Really focus on your breathing, getting ready for those next ones, ski jumps. Ready, let's go. And relax, shake those legs off, get plenty of breaths in before our next one's coming up. We've got those lovely pike jumps. Ready? Let's go. And hold it there. That's round three done and dusted. One final round to go. And that's it for this section. Okay, ready? Let's go. Final round. Come on. You can do it. Don't stop. And relax, hold it there for a second, deep breaths, getting ready for those ski jumps. Ready, let's go. And relax, almost there. We've got one little round to go. Last one, and it's them pipe jumps. Let's smash them. Ready? Let's go. Let's push as high as we can for these last ones. And relax. Woo, that was a toughie. Next up, we have the floor to box round. So for each stage, we're going to be using boxer moves combined with floor movement. We're going to go for 30 seconds work and 15 seconds rest four times on each station. Station one is the power squat six combo. So jab, cross, hook, hook, uppercut, uppercut, followed by a power squat. So jab, cross, hook, hook, upper, upper and then down, back, out, up and then back into boxing stance. We do that one more time. Okay, so get ready. In position we're going for round one in three, two, one. And relax there. You've got 15 seconds now just to recover. Get your legs ready to go again for the second round. 
Really focus on using your whole body in the shot, so rotating your hips and shoulders into the punches. Okay, ready? Let's go. And relax, that's round two done, well done. Take deep breaths in, making sure you're recovering in between rounds. So let's really push ourselves and see if we can step up the pace. Ready, let's go. And relax, hold it there, take a little breather, grab a drink if you need. Fourth and final round coming up now, last one, you ready? Let's go. And hold it there. Well done. Station two is a walk out to plank punch. We've got four straight punches at the top, walking out, and then alternate punches at the bottom. So four at the bottom, and then walking back up. So four at the top, jab cross, jab cross, walking out to plank position, high plank position, and four alternate punches. Then back up for the four at the top. Okay, ready? Round one, let's go. Make sure when getting into the high plank position, you're holding your body flat as you can as you throw the punches. Try not to twist your body as you're throwing each side. And relax, that's round one, out of the way. Shake your shoulders off, I know I get a bit tight in the tops. Okay, we're ready for round two. Get back into position. Ready, let's go. What, sorry, just quickly, what if it's da 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 uh, uh, da 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 uh, uh, down, down, down. da 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 Get ready and go. And relax, hold it there, take it back up if you're already down on the floor. That's the third round out of the way, we've just got one more of these to do. Okay, last one. Back in position, let's go. 
down, 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 And stop there. Well done. Station three, we have the lateral jumps to hooks. Okay, so we're going to go five hooks one side, five jumps side to side over whatever you've got. I'm using a hose pipe. Um, and then five hooks on the other side. So really simple this one. Two foot jumps over five hooks alternate. Back to the jumps in the middle and then five hooks on the other side. Okay. So in position, ready for round one, let's go. And relax there, that's round one complete. Shake your legs off. I keep my hands on my hips while I jump for balance, but it's up to you, whatever works best. And get in position for round two. Ready? Let's go. Don't worry about jumping too high when you cross over, it's more about speed. So just getting across without touching uh, your obstacle in the quickest time possible. And relax, that's halfway, two down, two to go. Okay, well done guys, you're doing really well. Ready for round three? Let's go. And hold it there. That's round three done. Well done. Just one more of these to go. Really taking that breath. Make sure you're recovering. Shake your legs off if you need to. Last one. Round four. Let's go. And we're done. Well done guys. Fourth and final station of this section is a jab cross sprawl. So we're going to jab cross at the top, rotating those shoulders, dropping down, back, forward and straight back into boxing stance. The jab cross, drop down and back up. This move is more basic than the other rounds so you can really focus on pushing yourself and going for speed. Okay, ready? Let's go. When you're bringing your legs forward, try and use the momentum to push yourself up into your boxing stance. And relax there, you've got 15 seconds. You should be breathing pretty hard now. If you're not, I want you to push yourself and go even faster this round. Okay, ready? So getting back into position for round two. Let's go.
focus on keeping the technique in your jab cross to maximise the benefit for your whole body, so engaging the core and rotating the shoulders into those shots. And hold it there, that's two rounds down and we've got two more to go. Okay, I've got a bit of a sweat on now, hope you guys have too. If not, you're going to go even quicker on this next round. Okay, get back into position, go in again, let's go. And relax, that's three down, one to go. So this last round is the final bit of cardio you're gonna do in this whole session. Okay, so just one more and then that's it. So I want maximum effort from everyone on this final round. Okay, ready? Let's go. Keep pushing through, really focus on your breathing and you keep that pace all the way through to the end. Last 10 seconds now, give it everything you've got. Really push through. Come on, last three, two, one, and relax. Well done, guys. Now, for the workout finale, we have a core finisher. Two exercises, 60 seconds of each with 15 seconds rest and we're going twice through. I'm going to show you the second exercise first, which is a glute bridge to ladder leg drop. You need to be laid on your back for this movement. We're going to lift up, down, ladder walk to the top, and then leg lower to the bottom. So it works as a count of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then you reset before you go again. Okay, so the first movement is going to be a plank reach. To a downward dog toe touch. So we're starting with a minute of these. Let's go. best to actually touch your toes on each side if you can't quite do that just reach as far as you can And hold it there. Now we're going to flip round into position for our second exercises, starting with the glute bridge. Remember, we're working these to the count of eight, so I'll count through the first one with you. Let's go. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can go at your own pace for these, but just keep into that eight count to make sure you're getting the movement ratios correct. Make sure you're engaging your core and pushing your lower back down into the mat. And relax, I'm gonna flip it back round. We've got one more set of each. So back into that high plank to downward dog toe touch. Okay, ready? Round two of these, let's go.
and hold it there flip it back round for the final round of glute bridges and um, this is the last thing we're going to be doing so enjoy get down get comfy ready let's go Now we're used to the movement, if you want to challenge yourself, you can try and up your pace um, and get more into this minute. Ten more seconds of these, see how many you can squeeze in, really push, we're nearly there. And we're finished. Well done guys, that's the workout complete. I hope you enjoyed it.